In this episode of Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer, I'm going to be answering a question I received from a viewer. His name is Christopher. The subject is math. The message reads as follows. I'm a been there, done that kind of person. After a major ego death, I quit my dream job traveling around the world to go back to school. My first time through college, my highest math course was statistics. During Intermediate Algebra, second last math course, I remember sitting in my community college tutoring center, overhearing another student crying in frustration. I thought to myself, hasn't she learned to suppress that? That moment and that thought are the only reason I'm back in school majoring in mathematics. I don't know what else to do, and my biggest challenge in life seems like a justifiable use of my life. I heard somewhere that to be the person you want to be, you have to kill the person you were destined to be. I'm pretty intelligent. I understand that math is a language and that a major component is discipline. I still struggle with my ego and anxiety. I don't do homework. What is holding me back from really letting go and just embracing math, man, or anything really? Your channel is spiritually getting me through Calc 2. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Well, first let me say it's great that my channel is helping you with Calc 2. For those of you that don't know, Calculus 2 is considered by most people to be the hardest of the three course calculus sequence. And once you get through Calc 2, Calc 3 is usually much easier and so is differential equations. So I'm glad I'm being helpful uh, in that regard. And thank you for your message. It sounds like you are very intelligent. It sounds like you've had some life experiences and you're back in school and you're motivated. But uh, it sounds like you're missing something which you indicate and that is clear cut goals. So my best piece of advice, which is my biggest piece of advice, is to define some goals. You want to have a couple of different scenarios. Ask yourself, what is it you want to do when you're done with college? Most people have some type of answer for that, but a lot of people don't, and they're not really sure. They just know they like a certain subject, and so they want to study it. And that's fine, but you're going to find yourself demotivated sometimes, and you need to have those clear-cut goals to help motivate you. So my advice would be to take a hard look at your life. Let's say you're 23 years old. I don't know how old you are, but let's say you're 23. Ask yourself, where do you want to be when you're 33? Right? Do you want to have a degree when you're 33? Or do you want to not have a degree when you're 33? Obviously, the answer is have a degree, but keep in mind, getting a degree does require sacrifices. It costs money. It takes time. And... It takes time. <laughs> so really, it's the time, I think, that is even more uh, important than the money because it takes time away from other things that you could be doing, like working or you know, starting a family, whatever it is you have in mind that you want to do with your life. Going to school is going to take time away from that. However, I think for most people, going to school is a very good thing. It can be life-changing. There are no guarantees in life. Just because you, you work really hard at something and you do really well, it doesn't mean that you're going to be successful. That's, that's the way of the world. Um, there's this show on television. It's called Law and Order. It's an old show. And there was an old episode where one of the bad guys says something like, I worked so hard and I, and I, just, I just couldn't do it. I, just, I worked so hard and I couldn't succeed. And the detective looks at him and he says, welcome to the human race. Yeah, I mean, I'm just getting goosebumps because that's that's true, right? It doesn't matter how hard you work. There's always luck involved. There's always other things. There's outside influences that sometimes uh, won't let you succeed, right? So the only thing you can control is you. And the only thing you can do is try and have multiple attack plans, have multiple goals. You know, maybe your your number one goal is to get a job in fintech making tons of money, let's just say 300 grand a year, which is a, lot, a crazy amount of money, right? 
And there's people who do that. There's people who get math degrees and they learn to program and they get jobs at these big financial firms and they make tons of money. Maybe that's your goal. So set that as your goal. And then you need to have some other goals. Like if that doesn't work out, maybe you can go do this. And if that doesn't work out, maybe you can go teach high school. And if that doesn't work out, maybe you can just get a job anywhere. <laughs> so you just have to have goals. And once you have those goals, they will help you. Um, math is beautiful. And I think it's a great choice because it teaches you how to think. And I think it's great that you love math. The fact that you're even considering math means to me that maybe you should just do it and see how it goes. There are a lot of smart people in the world who have studied mathematics and have gone on to do other things, right? Um, I, I mentioned this before, but I'll, I'll say it again. Um, you know, Jeff Bezos, he, I believe he was a physics major, and he was working on a partial differential equation, and he couldn't, he couldn't solve it. And the story goes that his friend uh, told him that the answer was cosine, and he showed him how to do it. And that's the moment when he felt like, you know, it wasn't for him. He just he felt like he wasn't good enough to you know to pursue it. So he decided to do something else, and uh, he ended up going into investment banking, and then he founded Amazon. Uh, Magic the Gathering. Uh, I'm a big fan of Magic the Gathering. It's a card game. It was created by a PhD mathematician. So all kinds of things uh, in the world were done by people with math degrees. So just because you study math, it doesn't mean that your choices are limited. So my biggest piece of advice, again, is just have those, those clear-cut goals. Because when you have clear-cut goals, when you are feeling down, when you don't know, you know what you're doing with your life, it will really allow you to embrace it. So yeah. Hopefully that's been helpful and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer. Good luck.